Hello everybody! How Hi. are you guys doing? <laughs> we are going to see some very very nice games of uh, a Swedish Grandmaster, Johnny yes. Hector, who Sophie... Was it a actually... problem to find uh, aggressive games? No, no, not at no. all. <laughs> is that <laughs> you or is that me? That's me, sorry about that. You had I forgot to turn off the, the sound. Ah. <laughs> But now it's done. No, there was no problem in finding games, actually. It was maybe a problem selecting them. <laughs> yes. Deciding on one. But there were so many aggressive games and so many nice wins that he has over very strong people. Yeah, I think so, right? Like yeah. he beats uh, also these 2700 guys sometimes. He did, yes. I have. Yeah. I, I don't know if I have any of those games because in the end... I chose uh, five, but okay, yeah, yeah the, the there are some strong people here, as you can see, of uh, at the games. So I think <laughs> we have so many nice things to see. But again, I'm going to start with just a little some some little moments from some games where he <laughs> he just destroyed the opponent, and then we're going to see Sophie's favorite game. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's a masterpiece. I mean, if we go for King Hans, you, we, we, I think we, we well, shouldn't yes. leave that out. And then I have, a, there's a very nice game that I liked a lot. Um, because it's, it actually involves a king walk, something that you don't really see so much in uh, other games. Oh, and is this um, the first game that I'm this seeing This is the here? first game that you see here. I can see that the black player is uh, Alan Stig Rasmussen, who has been a yeah. uh, Danish uh, champion a few times. So this is like Sweden versus Very Denmark. strong player also, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this was actually a very, very short game, 17 moves. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and it was Denmark team championship in 2012. Mm. Danish team championship, yeah. Maybe you you got to see some of these games live. No, because this was, I think I only started playing chess, like I played when I was a kid and then I started again in 2014, I think. So at this mm. point I was in any chess clubs or anything. Ah, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some moments to think about this. Yeah. It's I'm seeing nice. the and I'm like thinking about what what's going on. Uh, mm -hmm. It looked like he's already sacrificed the pawn, right? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, he's missing the F-pawn. Missing the F-pawn. Don't recall how that, that happened, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I can't really, like, see what opening is. But okay, like, maybe some core kind of... Uh... No, it couldn't have been any King's game, but I know he plays that sometimes, though. Okay, so what's going on here? We have some pressure on the Oops. f file against this at seven pawn um we also have two bishops that could potentially cause some harm and uh yeah then we have the uncastled king i mean castling queenside could be an option but also it seems a little dangerous and it's not like it's not immediate so i think we're going to focus on like this f file and and the black uh, king that's in the center Mm -hmm. um, something comes to mind about also this pawn yep. here on the side. <laughs> yep. um, I'm just trying to figure out what we should, because we can't take an f7, we don't want to exchange the queens, but maybe we could do something about taking on b5. I'm just going to look for like moves now. So <laughs> taking here, for example, with the bishop, that's a check. Mm -hmm. uh, then black can take back, we take with the knight, but then, okay, we threaten the queen, but the queen can move somewhere, maybe b7, and still be protecting f7 square. But maybe we can flip the move order so we can take with the knight first. Mm -hmm. And then after pawn takes, bishop takes, then he can't play. Bishop d7, which would no. be like the normal move, but no, then we could take an f7, and that will probably be checkmate, or at least win the bishop and f8. Yeah, that's um, that's the idea. Take, take, then he will have to move the king. Yes. 
play king e7, then we'll take an f7. So he'll probably have to go king d8. And then what? And then what? Yeah, that's a very nice line there that you're looking at. Uh, like, okay, there's a pawn hanging here, but I'm guessing we don't want to exchange screens unless it like wins more material. And maybe mm -hmm. it does actually. <laughs> yes. Sending the bishop. Yeah. And um, what happens if bishop e7? Then there's this g7 pawn and the book is falling. Oh, right. That's a, there's at least that. Oh, there's something else? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pushing for for more here. But I, get, that, I think you so can already play uh, probably in the game if you saw that. Here, he goes here. Take, take, rook take, king. Yes. Bishop okay, e7. bishop seven. Uh, bishop b6? Yes. <laughs> you Is got all. That? That's checkmate. That yeah. Oh, that's okay. We we'll go for the checkmate, of course. We go for the checkmate. Yeah. That is the line, Sophie. Very nice done there. Night and hi in the YouTube chat. Let's see. We also have see who we got. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. So... Hi, Juan. And Krunks. How about Bishop B6? I think if we go Bishop B6, maybe Black doesn't have to take on B6. Uh, in this position, right? This is Bishop B6 here. Oh, but maybe uh, he meant bishop b6 in the beginning, in the end, where it's checkmate. No, I think that's been there for a while. Uh, and oh. my, my my guess oh. is that here, black can move the queen. Maybe you still have the idea of knight takes b5, though. That's what I was wondering. Like if queen b7 or queen e7, knight takes b5, it's probably still there. Yeah. In this position. But here, knight b5 comes with tempo. I think it's best to go right away for knight b5 and this is the line that sophie was looking at bishop takes b5 king d8 because now if bishop d7 <laughs> there's a nice checkmate over here yeah queen f8 and then there's checkmate on e8 and in case of king d8 she's got all this full line all this very nice idea that here bishop b6 is checkmate uh, and what if sorry yes it's still checkmate it yeah. is <laughs> yeah. i was just going to show that uh it doesn't really matter how black defends the bishop bishop b6 is checkmate in both lines bishop b6 so what black needs to do is stop bishop b6 but then we can go for bishop g7 like you suggested and because if and they take here they take quick take ah. And it's just a lot of material. It will be a rook up. Yeah, I believe it should be more it than should enough. Be enough. No, also pawns, actually. Oh right, also pawns. Yeah, black is almost yeah. out of pawns. So after knight b five, black went for queen b seven. And yeah. uh, what would you do here? What's the follow up? Um. So if we move the knight now, we won the pawn back, but <laughs> it's probably something better. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do we do here? Um, we are also uh, open to suggestions in the chat. Yeah. So if you guys yeah. have any ideas here. Knight d6, I see Pirsch. Yeah, knight d6 is one of the moves. Knight, knight d6. Uh, d6, bishop takes, and then we take on g7. That's right, yeah. And you can actually do this either way. You can start with knight d6. I, we can take on g7 first? Or you can take on g7 first. Yeah, okay. They both work. Uh, he went for bishop g7 in the game. And I can just say, because I see somebody in uh, the Twitch chat suggesting 
castle, uh, which I think in the first position, castle could also be like an option, but the first positions here, Raluca usually gives me some uh, very <laughs> tactical positions. So. Yeah, well, this was a position where uh, something went wrong, apparently, no? because yeah. uh, the F-file got open and Black got under these tactical ideas. We could castle, of course, but then you you lose this, these tactics. And then we give Black an option to finally develop the king side, maybe. Yeah, or I don't know if maybe Bishop B7 is even helpful. Yeah. Uh, at some point in the line. Mm, not sure. I was thinking that bishop c6 would be, but no, I guess not. So maybe they could just see that f7 is hanging and play, I don't know, how could they defend knight h6? <laughs> yeah, maybe I was thinking knight h6 actually, because just like, but still like needs to be careful about. Yeah, you, lose, you kind of lose the initiative, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, so bishop g7 here. If bishop takes g7, knight d6 is coming. Yeah. The queen is lost. So white, black went for pawn takes b5 and then he gets the rook. Yeah. Knight h6, <laughs> now g4. He's not giving black a break here. No. <laughs> queen f4. And now, and the, where... now the check. And black resigns. <laughs> yeah, that was a very short uh, revenge check. <laughs> yes, a very short one. Yeah. One spite check, and then that was it. And then that's it. Yeah, because it's not clear what uh, black, black black does next. Uh, G five becomes an idea also, and win the bishop on H four. It's a lot of material. Yeah, this was a yeah. very short win. He has many of those. Let me show you another one. <laughs> He's that's white again. Right? It's like go big or go home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay. This is another Sicilian here. So I'm guessing he has the white pieces. That looks he more does like have the white pieces, yes. Uh his way of playing. Okay. Again, there's something about the black king in the middle, caught in the middle. Yeah. Uh, so I'm immediately looking at something like pushing e5, mm -hmm. but have not i'm just looking for candidate moves so we could push e5 uh we could even maybe do something about these knights i don't know knight d5 but i'm not sure if i want to i'm just going to put it there as like a candidate move uh maybe we could even consider putting one of the knights here even though it seems like maybe could also That's develop there. the the bishop doesn't really have that many like we could go to e2 or d3 but i don't want to go to d3 and block my rook so i don't think it's any um bishop move mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna start by looking at there are no checks oh yeah there is one check actually bishop okay. b5 but that seems to be just yeah don't want to look at that right now no um what about e5 threatens this knight Mm -hmm. And if the knight is to move, then I guess we just have a good position. We could play e6 or even take on d6, just open up. That seems pretty suicidal. So I think black will have to... Oh, take the pawn. <laughs> yes, take the pawn. Take the e5. Yeah. And then this is where I'm like, okay, what what then? Like What's this the is the Open up the position. Mm. What next? Uh, there's something about... Maybe moving the knight on d5, uh, d4 to open up the rook. Uh, uh -huh. Something like, ooh, could we play? That's getting a little crazy, but <laughs> knight e6 is threatening rook d8. It is, yes. And if black takes that knight, then maybe it's fine. Maybe we take. I think it's getting a little bit out of hand, maybe, you know. <laughs> I really feel like it's e5. If anybody has any suggestions after e5 and d takes e5, I'm very open to uh, suggest. <laughs> yeah, keep looking yeah, there. It looks e5 as well. Maybe that was in the previous, but e5, I think it's good. g5, 
Jani is amazing. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> no really move suggestions so far. I'm on my own. Uh, you're on your own for now. But maybe you're going to get some help. Sacrifice, of course. Yeah. E5 is the first sacrifice, but what next? It looks like the move that you want to play, right? You are all ready with white. Black needs to finish development, but what do we do then? Okay, you have one suggestion. Knight d4 to knight to b5. And Piyush also yeah. says that something is going on b5. With, uh, with a tempo and the queen. So then, black take, I suppose. And we take back with the other knight, threatening the queen. Yeah. And then what? Then the queen has to find a good square. Let's say she goes to a5. Um, then what do we have in that position? Or should we take back with that. the bishop? Um, I feel like it should be the knight. We have this open d file, but we're not really... I don't know. <laughs> should we take back with the... Instead of taking with the c knight, should we take back with the bishop? Then it's a check at least. But then something goes in between and... Yeah, he goes uh, bishop d7. You are very close. Sophie, okay. very, very close to it. Take back we are very the close to cracking this. And then what? Uh, something, something on... There's a pawn here. There's an open... Take file. on b5. Let me give you... Let me give you this. e5. You are right about b5. You are all right about b5. e5. The funny thing is that when I started analyzing this position uh, and starting looking at moves here, e5 looks so natural, I think, uh, but it's not one of the first moves that the engine will give. But after you show it, <laughs> uh. after you play e5 on the board, it's suddenly plus five. So it's mm. completely winning. Yeah, more than enough. Yeah. Pawn takes, knight b5, takes, you take with the knight. And you are looking at queen a5, so let's play this one on the board. He went queen b8 in the game. But let's okay. see queen a5. Do you see it on the board? Yeah, I see it on the board. Okay. So what do we do now? <laughs> Sorry. Um... Okay, um, let's just go for like the, okay, any checks? We could go knight c7, he can take that. Yeah. Uh, knight d6, he can also take that. And I don't see any follow up there. Rook d8, he can probably take with the queen. That's right. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, queen c6, I'm not going to look too much into that. And that's it for the checks. Okay, then we have captures. Second B7, that seems not like no. a good idea. <laughs> uh, Definitely not. Could... Not a whole lot else we can take, no? No. Okay. It's not, probably not a check and it's not a capture. So then we have to look for other moves. We could play Bishop C4 maybe. Um, but I feel like that's a, it's too patient almost. I mean, it does like develop a piece and F7 is a bit weak, but I don't see any checkmate. Mm -hmm. Bishop C4 to... is, is not a bad move, but okay. you forget yeah, to that's... look for threats, position is probably <laughs> for other enough. threats. Okay, so maybe there's something with the back rank, like we could maybe go queen d3, then at least you can't take an a2 because then we have queen d8. Um, but, it's, but these two squares are still protected. Okay, but you have some ideas there. Yeah. B4. Is that B4? Yeah. Um, and it's, it's been suggested by Alexa Morningstar in, in Twitch before. I haven't checked YouTube, but. Uh, no. B4 is just. Four. 
Yeah, Alexa Morningstar, see, and Cannibal Crush. Yeah, I think yeah. B4, because then if Knight C7 can be played without taking its checkmate. Mm -hmm. And there are many ideas about deflecting the queen. Queen A3 yeah. has been suggesting a, uh, suggested a, a few times, but I don't have to take on A3. It's a nice move, though. Queen A3 in this position. It looks nice, but it doesn't really work, because I think I can just maybe play E6. But we can maybe go uh, B4, Queen B4, B6. definitely, yeah. I think actually Alexa had like a whole line, right? Uh, B4, B4, Queen, Queen, B6. Yeah, Queen F2, deflecting. Hmm, Queen F2 here looks nice also. Does it work? It looks like it works. I was thinking Queen C3 actually, but Queen F2... Queen F2, he yeah. can maybe... Go. No, I think it looks... It good looks enough. like it's, it's winning also, no? Queen F2. Hmm. Not defending the queen because it's the same checkmate. That should also work. Yeah. But maybe I still have queen c6 though. Queen f2, I can maybe play go to c6. Yeah. I think that might be uh maybe we don't have time for any resource bishop b5 queen c5 i guess i, I will have time to just open the, maybe e6 again on queen c5 and if queen d2 then one of the pieces can go to d7 yeah yeah so here queen c3 has to be played mm. and knight c7 immediately yeah, queen c3 after queen b6, that's right. This is the winning move. So queen a5, b4, queen b6, queen c3. And in the game after knight b5, black went queen b8, and here again queen c3. It's very yeah. nice. Bishop d7, and now knight c7. Take, and now bishop b5. <laughs> yeah. It, it keeps coming, no, it, it never stops here. Queen a5. Now he gives another check here to force the queen to c8 and he puts the queen on a4 to add more pressure on d7. King c7 and rook d3. This is another very nice move, mm. I think. Since the king uh, can't move, no, d7 is, is hanging if king b8, for example. Yeah. And, and trading the bishop does not get the king into safety because after king b8 there is queen e5. Yeah. And black is still getting mated. <laughs> There's no place to hide. Um, black played bishop f5 and now rook c3. Win the queen. And eventually win the game. I also like the way he plays next because in this position he keeps... Uh, he keeps the um, the pressure. He doesn't allow white to get the piece, black to get the pieces out. Like e6, get the bishop out, develop. So here he goes rook f1. Yeah, that's a good uh, stopping e6. Yeah. yeah. Looking at the knight on f6. Black tries here, and now queen c4. Hitting on f7, and now queen c5. Hitting on e5. Just game over now. King a8. Yeah. Okay, he takes some time to get out of the <laughs> diagonal. And this is why he does that, because now he wants rook f4 and checkmate on the a file. Mm. Black tries here, but there's no escape. Queen c7. I really feel like Black is playing until the uh, bitter end here, right? Yeah. <laughs> now he's getting checkmate in one move with rook a4, so here he resigns. Always the move before. Always the move before, yeah. I don't know what's going on. But he did get to give some checkmates on the board. I noticed that in his games. More than in other players' games, maybe. More than average. Yes, more than average, <laughs> I would say. But, no, it's, it's this thing that I notice in his games, that he gets this advantage. Here he gets a queen. And most people would just relax. Okay, I'm a queen up, I'm going to win this. <laughs> I don't care how, but I'm going to win this, no? But yeah. he's not losing the 
the pressure on the opponent. He's not giving time to break, uh, to breathe. Rook f1, and then all the ho the whole idea of attacking, you know, always attacking something, and then passing the rook is really nice here. Rook f4. Yeah. All right. Active all the pieces. Sorry. Being active with like all of the pieces. Yes. Keep everybody active. And this is the last one before we move on to the good stuff. <laughs> is that the, the here's Johnny game? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> How do we play here with white? Another very good position. And another uh, of these like patterns with the with the black king being in the middle. In the of center, the board. yeah. He's got many okay. of these. <laughs> so if we go for the same sort of logic, we should push e5. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what logic is that? <laughs> you like open up the position. The... <laughs> okay, I'm Please. joking. Yeah. But I'm just seeing because of course it's it's a pawn sacrifice. So mm -hmm. and also maybe we're opening up for these two bishops. So it's like it should be uh, calculated. Yeah. Um, Black can take it in two different ways, or you can maybe even maybe he can even pass it playing d5. I don't think he can because we take here and then if he takes take and it's that's okay we don't think he can play d5 so if we go for e5 uh he could take with the f pawn but then i think we have something like bishop f7 mm -hmm. maybe something like this that looks good it's like we like seven keeping the king from castling. Um, maybe it's better if we go e5 that he takes with the... Wait, wait, wait. But in the in the end, after you play rook f7, uh, I'm just wondering if I can keep taking on d4? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Because it's a, it's a fork. Yeah. Maybe it's too optimistic <laughs> to go for e5. Okay, but you are okay, right let's... about trying to to find okay, the initiative. We take on f6. F6. That's a, also like a good we can option. Also take on f6. Yeah. F6. Take, take, take. It's a, um, an exchange sacrifice, but it's. And what if black castles after you take? Yeah, that's the good question. You can only castle this way. Yeah. Um. Then we play this. Yes. Then we play bishop e6. That's right. And uh, then we win the queen. So you can't castle after that. Good news. <laughs> yeah, that's good news. And this is probably still like a threat, even though it's mm -hmm. not winning the queen, then we force it to go back. And it seems like we get um, a lot of play for the exchange. I agree. I'm just yes. going to look at the chat now and see what they say. Rook takes f6 was... Uh, not not much in... I think this is from the previous position. Start rook d1. Yeah. Uh, Maybe uh oh, then go for e5. That could probably be a more patient uh, solution. We root knight. But that's that too more... slow, no? It's it's what you were noticing yeah. before, that you have all your pieces ready and black still needs to get the pieces out, still needs to castle. So it's normal to try to look for the initiative, try to find active moves here. So if you I'm if you don't find that. anything, maybe rook d1. Yeah. yeah. Alexa is also saying rook f6. Rook yeah. So I'm gonna Go with the, that. We're gonna go with rook f6, no? <laughs> yeah. Bishop takes, rook takes. And this is very instructive that here black is not allowed to castle long because bishop e6 wins the queen. Mm. Um, I also looked here at rook f8, just wondering if, you know, we could maybe trade some pieces off. But here queen f2 is very strong. Just keeping the threats. We now, still have still bishop e6 is always there. It's always there, but if you castle long now, I'm going to take on f8 probably. Yeah. So if rook f6, queen f6, and yes, now bishop e6 is still there. Mm. No time to castle. And queen h8 is a big threat, right? As well. Mm. Yeah. That's winning at least a piece. Yeah, <laughs> if it's not almost checkmate. Not also checkmate. 
almost there. Okay, so black plays knight d8 here, which is a very ugly move to play, but I understand that there's no really a way, a way to stop bishop e6 here and stop all the threats. We still want to play probably queen f3 or, um, or bishop e6 immediately. And, and what next? And bring the queen over, no? Mm. It's basically a position where black can't move. It goes here and queen f3. Black strikes c6. <laughs> and again here I like very much how he plays. Bishop f2 improving all the pieces to the maximum. Because the bishop on e3 is not doing much in this position. Not no. helping in the attack at least. And after but c6? On, on g3, attack. exactly. On g3 it's a really nice piece now. Because after c6, d6 becomes weak, so that's a new target for us. Bishop f2. Okay. We go to b3. And it doesn't matter. Bishop g3. Okay, black is just trying to create some counterplay. Uh, understandable. h takes g4, and here white could go wrong. For example, knight g4 is a mistake, because bishop h5... We can defend the, the knight, and it, it's becoming complicated. Maybe we yeah. still have enough initiative to hold this, but no need to take the pawn. He goes queen e3. Look here, now he goes queen f2, out of the pin, and take on d6. King d7, queen f6, and game over. Yeah, this is getting very uh, brutal. Getting very brutal, yeah. What is the threat I think after it's a good point. Because... Sorry. Oh, yeah, that was just what I was going to say. That somebody asked, like, what is the threat after taking an f6? That it's not, like, an immediately winning the next move sort mm -hmm. of sacrifice, but it's just keeping black from castling, right? And Yeah. And then exploring. It's very difficult to play something with black after rook f6. Yeah. So no castling, no nothing. I don't know, let's say that... Even in the game, no, we just saw that knight d8, queen f3, white wasn't threatening uh, anything. He was just improving the pieces and slowly, slowly black... No, black has to move something in the end. Mm -hmm. But bishop e6, I think bishop e6 is actually a big threat in the in the starting position. In this position, after taking yeah, on f6, after taking yeah. on f6, because I'm just thinking that what we want, yeah, exactly, what we want if black is doing nothing is something like this: queen, bishop here, queen d8. Put the queen on f2 and then remove this bishop and checkmate on f7. <laughs> mm. You know, if, if black really does nothing, just waits patiently. So there are some threats. For example, let, let's just play a move, any move, not to show this. Come on. a5, bishop e6, here and now queen f2. And I don't know, let's play another move that changes nothing in the position. And now we play rook g6. Yeah. And queen f7. So there are threats. There are actually threats in the position. Yeah, compensation is keep the king in the center, paralyzing black species. That's right. And we're not sacrificing a whole... It's an uh, exchange, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, like the bishop pair and... Uh, uh, get a pawn and open f line, so it's not, yeah, it's a lot of things actually, right? Yeah, it's only yeah. an exchange in the end. Okay, so let's see the next position, which actually is the the whole game from the beginning. The oh, this is a a, a very <laughs> intense. Game. You're going to it's enjoy this one. Moves, but it's um, it's a lot of pieces are hanging in this game. Yes, in a good way. So most of the questions in this game will be for you, because Sophie already knows this game. So I, I guess that some things won't be new for her, but I just wanted to show you this. So, 
So you see everything that's going on here. Okay, so he plays the advanced gambit. He played many gambits. Uh, he probably still plays no? <laughs> a few. I think last game that I found that his was in 2020, so his. Yeah, I actually think I paid. Yeah, I remember participating in a tournament in 2018 or 19 where he was there. So yeah, he's still uh, active. Active, yeah. Queen b3, knight, queen d7, and here he goes for knight d2. And here black goes knight h6. And knight h6 seems to be the first uh, inaccuracy. Now he takes on, d5, on e5. I'm just moving a little faster over this part. So we get to, to the nice part and have more time there. So here, after d, d takes e5, black takes on e5. Here he... He should avoid taking that pawn actually. Many times they go with bishop b6. Because after they take this pawn, the problem is that the king is stuck in the center. Pawn takes e5 and bishop a3. And this is a very pleasant position to play. <laughs> Definitely for for him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. C6. Castle long. This is natural so far. Get the king out of the center, develop the pieces. So here. Black goes b5, just trying to get away to develop his pieces. Maybe we play bishop b7 next. What do we do now? What do you think we are going to play now? Do we retreat the bishop? Do we not retreat the bishop? How is this going to go here? Sophie, you know this, right? You have seen this game so many times. Yeah, I think we should ask for the chat here. Because uh, I think I have, it's it's a very difficult game. Um, I mean, From it's sort on. of yeah. very difficult to find, but I think they all, you've been uh, through an engine with it, right? Yes. Yeah, and it's like, it's it makes sense what he's doing. Most of it is correct. And most of the moves, even in the games that we saw, are uh, first choice of the engine. That's yeah. really nice to see. So we have two good suggestions on Twitch. We have one as uh, Cannibal Kush saying Bishop E2 feels natural. Uh, and then we have Flinix suggesting Knight F3. Yes, there's also Knight F3. And is there anything on YouTube? What is happening on uh, YouTube? One saying Bishop takes on, on Twitch and... Bishop takes where? We have uh, <laughs> two takes B5, take. takes also F7. Which one do we want to take? Uh, on YouTube, there's nothing so far. Okay, so we have an option here, right? We have to uh, we either retreat, uh, Bishop E2, that it was suggested, but that feels a little like you're losing initiative. Here you, you have developed the pieces, black is still stuck with the king in the center. And if we give black time, this is about, this is what's going on about the development advantage. If you give your opponent time, they will eventually get the pieces out and then castle and you lose the advantage. So usually when, when you have this type of advantage, you have to act fast. So you want to look for active moves like, okay, bishop takes b5 is, uh, was the idea. Bishop b5, knight f3 was another active move here, but everything has to be calculated. <laughs> On knight f3, for example, what if they take on c4? How is that line? And if bishop b5, what if they take on b5, right? What's the follow-up? Yeah, it's easier said than done, it's true. <laughs> but, but you have to be looking for active moves. Okay, I see some suggestions on YouTube now. Knight f3 has been suggested twice, so... So far, we have uh, three suggestions of knight f3. And we one... also have these two saying uh, taking with the bishop on b5. Yep. And we have f4 and... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, bishop, we have another bishop takes b5. Yeah, on... I think it's three to three and the bishop takes b5 <laughs> on knight uh, f3 right now. <laughs> Which one are we going to go for? Huh. 
has to be let's I think we should look at let's both take moves. the queen after c4 yeah we should look at both moves let's start with let's start with bishop b5 because that is not what happened in the game and we will just continue with the game afterwards so what is the point after bishop b5 i want to take on b5 and what do we want here knight c4 as i imagined but on knight c4 i can probably take the knight yeah, and then both queens are hanging. Both queens are hanging, yes, that's true. Knight c4, because knight d6 is now a threat. Uh, Sibas Luna is saying, bishop takes b5, c takes b5, knight c4. Yeah, and now I take on yeah, c4. Seven, and the, uh, the critical is probably if they take on c4, actually. Yes, b takes c4. Rook d7 and rook e7. Okay, you are on to something there. But here, let's see if it works. Takes on b3, rook e7, I go king d8, you give another check, I go bishop d7. It's not a checkmate yet. Let's see this. Rook e7. I probably have to go king d8. Yeah, because king f8 is checkmate. Yes? King f8, this is checkmate, rook e5. King g8 and rook e8. So after rook e7, I have to go to d8, and now I guess rook d1. Yeah? Oh, I yeah. was going to see the line with knight f3 and b takes c4. So king d8, rook d1, and now I have to go bishop d7. You probably take on d7, let's say with this rook, king c8, and now what, right? Yeah, now the down? bishop is nicely protecting c7. Yeah, it's a piece down. Yeah. So this is a very nice idea, but we just sacrifice two pieces. Uh, and it's not necessary to sacrifice both of them. Actually, if you go to knight f3, which is what he played in the game and you guys were suggesting, then in the same line, if b, b takes c4, we are winning. This check, this check, and take... Okay, here I took with the rook from e7. I don't know why rook d7 makes a lot of sense. Hmm. King c8 now takes on b3. And we have almost the same position but with an extra knight. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> much, much more comfortable. And that knight on h6 is a horrible piece. Oh, right. So maybe I took with the rook on e7 because of bishop d8. No, but I have rook a7. Okay, this is not going anywhere. Now we can take with both rooks here. So knight f3 is the, what he played in the game. Okay, but black doesn't have to take, so he goes queen b7. What's next? This is where it's like getting... Uh, <laughs> I will be very impressed if anybody can find this. You can actually but look for it, Sophie, because the, because the game, the, the move in the game is not the most precise one. Black would have defended. <laughs> Maybe people can come with even better suggestions. But Maybe definitely you can find something better. A move that leaves like an impression it does yeah <laughs> and it's all going for the better after that yeah so you keep looking for the best move here sophie <laughs> yeah okay that's true i have a task to do as well i i'm the only have like the actual move that was <laughs> you know the actual move and you know that doesn't really work or you can try and find why not how can black defend Okay, so what do we do here? 95, two suggestions in the Twitch chat of 95. I'm going yeah. to wait a little more for the, before showing the right one. What do you think, Sophie? What is I also your... at, uh, at, at night E5, mm -hmm. then maybe that uh, gives it away that it was not the move that he played. Mm -hmm. uh, but knight takes e5. Looking at that also. Takes on c4. Takes on c4. Yeah, that's the because we don't want to exchange queens in that position. So then queen will have to take on c4. And okay, we're down a piece, but 
Black still can't castle and C6 is loose. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe we even have to retreat the bishop now, just... No, don't retreat, Sophie. <laughs> no, but it's like... Yeah, I like the move that he plays, but if, if, if it doesn't D5. work... <laughs> rook d5 is uh, suggested in the chat. Yes, rook d5 is what he played, actually. Rook d5, it's... Everything is hanging. But knight d5 is the best move. Okay. And here is the line, b takes c4. We actually do trade queens because you want to play rook d7 like before okay. yeah. and we get to something very similar to what we were seeing mm. if they defend go here knight c4 and it's knight d6 is coming yeah bishop c7 go here very long line and very <laughs> difficult to believe that this is the best way to to continue in a game probably trading the queens and then going for this okay so here rook a8 is not an option because if they go rook a8 then we have rook c7 and we at least win the bishop on b7 to a discovery check. Yeah, they have to go over here and then we take on b7. So black needs to play something like bishop a8, to which the following idea is very pretty, so I'm just <laughs> going to show it. Just bring the king over back, back to the king's side. Now take here, and rook d7. It's a very nice position. We are a piece down, but none of black's pieces is playing. <laughs> No. It's a horrible bishop and a horrible knight. Let's say king of eight. And now this g4 idea is also... I would even consider going... Oh no, the knight can't move anyway. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, because we want to take on f7. No? Let's take in here. g5 and take... I don't know if there's anything else probably many other moves but g4 looks really nice <laughs> yeah and if they play f6 then we have bishop d6 and take on g7 yeah why rook d7 but not bishop g7 wait hold on let me just go back where is that so here not here no Rook d7 here, check here, here, takes here, bishop c7, ah, here, bishop e5, king e8, why not yeah. bishop g7? We can play bishop g7 as well, yeah. There's nothing wrong with bishop g7 for sure. This is winning also. Yeah, yeah, we win material with bishop g7. It's maybe even easier. Rook d7 is playing for mate, but <laughs> bishop g7 is the, the easier way, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, bo both work. But he goes for rook d5, which is definitely <laughs> beautiful. No? You really want this move to work. But here black could have defended. And this is the the way to do it. Take on c4. But it does look scary, doesn't it? <laughs> Very practical chess, right? Because you take an e5 with check and then... The no, actually, yeah, yeah, actually this is the idea, sorry. Rook e5, king d8 and rook d1. Yeah. This is not the defense, uh, apologies. This is the idea of rook d5. And now there is no way to defend the king in a proper way at least the queen is hanging with bishop d7 yeah but the defense was actually to get the rook in this position bishop take d5 and here black has this move which is a little bit annoying oh yeah you don't want the queen exchange now yeah they can take on c3 
we take on a8 but they take on c3 it's still complicated but it's not so clear anymore no? bishop c5 it's and king c2 it still looks good for white hmm. that is definitely not as winning as uh, <laughs> what we were seeing before game line yeah and if you know how the game went it's just oh this is disappointing to see <laughs> but it's it's again not an easy way to to defend it because queen b8 for example if you try to hold on to the material then bishop c6 and this is really pretty again bishop d7 sophie what do you play here on bishop d7 Um. Why do we guys play here after bishop d7? Why to play and win? Very nice double attack, Luan says. That's right, what double attack? Is it queen d5? Queen d5, yes. Yeah. Nice one. And then if it takes, you take back and it's... On c6? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's just made it, right? Because we get the rook to d1 and it's, yeah. Yeah, that's right. But it runs into the same checkmate with rook d1. Yeah, queen d5 is also very nice here. So many beautiful tactical ideas. So what was the defense? No, the defense was here, just c takes d5, not after knight f3. The defense is not winning. The defense is just probably a, a, maybe a draw, right? We don't even know if this is a draw because it looks like white is still better, but, but it's definitely playable, no? That's what mm. I mean. The defense is that black gets to play some more. <laughs> In a more... In a least uh, less uh, dangerous position, maybe. Mm. Because now they black will need to play b4, I guess. You no, know, if he doesn't want to lose e5. And we are still very much ahead in development. B4, rook d1, I guess. Yeah. Rook d1 so down is... the path, that shouldn't be a big problem. No, I think, and we are already threatening checkmate again you now with bishop mm. c6. So bishop d7, okay, black can keep playing here, but it is still very difficult. No? Yeah. But let's see the game, because the game is absolutely brilliant. Black goes f6, and from now on it's just fireworks. <laughs> takes. What is the idea? If black takes on b5, we take. It was like the queen and the two bishops are really just shooting some diagonals right now, right? Yes, and now she comes in. Yeah. King d8. And now we take on d7, followed by rook d1. Mm. It's probably the easier, easiest way to, to go. So taking on b5 loses. So black plays bishop b6. Okay, hoping for a way to survive here. So what do we do with white? What's next? <laughs> what else can we play now? How do we continue with, uh, with white? What can we do? And very much the same spirit. Very much the same spirit, yes. <laughs> Gotta go 95. <laughs> Who says that? Uh, Alexa Morningstar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you said A, you have to say B, right? <laughs> Sorry? If you say A, you have to say B. 
Yeah, yeah, I agree. 95. Rook D1 that's being suggested is not a bad move either. It makes a lot of sense because you keep the threats. Rook D1 keeps the advantage for sure, but 95. Let's go. <laughs> queen B4 would be interesting, but the queen on B7 is defending E7. E7. Yeah. yeah. Queen B4 is not really posing a threat of queen E7 because this is defended. And I'm wondering, no, okay, rook is still untouchable on b5. Yeah, because of queen e7. 95, let's see this. What's the point? Well, if pawn takes e5, we take. King has to go to d8 again on the same rook d1. Bishop d7. And here rook e7 seems to do the trick yeah. takes on b7 bishop e6 could also work maybe in this position bishop e6 yeah. is also a move yeah bishop e6 is another way to win and we can probably find more but <laughs> this, yeah. the, the two should be enough after bishop d7 so no taking the knight no taking the rook he no goes taking our <laughs> piece Really nice. No, no, <laughs> none of our pieces can be taken. Goes queen c7. Aha, uh -huh, and what, what should we do next after queen c7? <laughs> what else can we sacrifice, <laughs> basically? <laughs> now I'm just joking. I actually don't remember what to play is here. Oh, Sophie, what do we play here? <laughs> What's your next move? No, this is not a never ending class. It's actually supposed to be one hour, but uh, I just want to show you one more game and then it's over. Uh... I'm looking at taking on c6 uh, because it might win the queen, but I'm not sure if we're giving up too much material. No, you're not. And queen then, takes c6. Is. <laughs> and then rook e5 afterwards? Queen c6? No, bishop d5 actually. Rook ah, bishop d5. Yeah. Bishop d5. And maybe moving the rook also works and go bishop d5. Yeah. Bishop d5 is what I thought would happen because you just take the rook on a8 next. Okay, so knight takes c6, he goes bishop d7, and this knight is headed to e7 now. <laughs> now if bishop takes b5, bishop takes, if king f8, it's checkmate, but it's really beautiful, so I have to show it. Knight g6, everything is covered, the bishops and the queen are, are doing the job, and if king d8, then we can go queen d5. Ah, this is also checkmate, but it's not so pretty, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I prefer this one. Let's let's say this one. Okay, so not taking anything. Check. King b1. He goes bishop d8. And now this guy, this knight is going to f5. Creating some threats on the other side as well. Maybe here. Yeah. Or d6. Maybe. Or d6. Yeah, knight d6 is also there. And this is a nice idea that the knight can't go away from h6. As bad as it seems on h6, it is doing a great job defending f6, f7. Yeah. So he wants to remove the defender, actually. Knight h6 is a threat. Takes here. Run. Now he takes here. And <laughs> bishop d5. We need two here and bishop d5 and black resigned. Yeah. This is a beautiful game. Amazing game. It's just one really? after the other. <laughs> and I'm glad that it's uh, mostly correct. It, okay, it there was the one 
55, which is maybe not so precise, but it's still a it's very still good, good. Yeah. And worst case, you have a good position. Best case, you just uh, it's very practical chess. Very also. practical chess. Yes. Putting practical problems. I agree. Yeah. Rook d5 is definitely scary to see over the board. <laughs> and I have to say that this game was uh, uh, voted uh, like game of the day uh, yeah. when it was played on, on chess games. Um, and it had the title, Here's Johnny, which is because <laughs> his, his name is Johnny and it's from The Shining where Jack Nicholson does that thing where he, he chops down the, the door. And, <laughs> like um, basically like he does here, no? Yeah, like just an axe chopping through Black's position. Yeah. Very nice game. If you guys want to check it out, it's uh, Johnny Hector versus Mikkel Antonsen. Am I yeah, pronouncing like correctly? So. master, maybe even. Yeah, I think he was an international master when this was played. Oh, he's, I think he's a GM now. His peak rating is 2568. Mm -hmm. So not a bad opponent at all. No, no, no. He was 2439 no. when this happened. That, by the way, he knows that he can't just take the pieces. They're like poisoned. They're poisoned, yeah, all of them. Okay, and the final one, because I really, really liked it. I'm not going to see, insist very much, but I, I really wanted to show this game. And we're going to see it from Black's perspective. Oh. Yeah, finally, a, a one with Black, with a Black piece. It's Johnny Lecter, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Lecter, oh yeah. Okay, so this position was actually played in the Olympiad, I think. Yes, in the Istanbul Olympiad. And he's black in this position. And I think queen g4, the move that he played, looks quite natural. The g file is hmm. open, so you do want to do something there. And yeah, and it looks uh, both g2, of course, but also uh, and rook d1, so it's really a double threat. Yeah, you're right. Rook d1 is the other threat. Here and here. But the, the black king is not really safe either, no? No, <laughs> that's a problem. And here white goes g3. In, in fact, this position is evaluated as equal. It always, we always have this evaluation when things are going crazy on the board. Here it's cold as ice. Yeah, cold as ice. Nothing impresses the engine. So after g3, I really love this move, king h5. <laughs> Oh, because it's like opposite, opposite king hunt. The opposite king hunt, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought it's a good game to see because it's a king hunting the other king. <laughs> yeah. Okay, king h5, he just gets out of the g file. The king is a bit awkward in between the rook and the queen. But rook d8, okay, he wants to take on d5 as well. Not so simple. Rook g5. Queen goes back. Mm. F7 is hanging as well. No, we have to be careful not to get checkmated after Queen F7 and Rook D5. And here Queen F3, always playing for the initiative. Defend, but stay in the, in the area. And now the king has a nice little skirt in G4. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and King G4, of course, very brave yeah. king. Yes. Check. And now he plays rook f5. It's actually the only move in this position. Black needs to be careful because if king h5, uh, white is not going for queen f7 and a perpetual, but queen h3 is, mm. is really, really bad. And this would be checkmate now. And rook c7. Yeah. Would be a pretty yeah. one as well. We have to admit, King H3 incoming, almost. <laughs> yes, he's very close to going, getting to H3, but Queen E6 doesn't allow it. So Rook F5. Okay, now F2 is hanging. Yeah. Y needs to defend Queen E1. That's the only way to do so. Here. Queen F1 and improve Rook D2. Rook g5, here rook e8, he repeats once, but he does not want to draw. King f5. <laughs> K 
Can you see where we are going? <laughs> we are going uh, all. <laughs> <laughs> the king will find a way. <laughs> the king will find a way. Yes, king e4. Rook to g4, and forward. <laughs> I think it's actually the first king walk that I see up to e2. I have seen kings on h3 trying to checkmate the, the white king, but not really on e2. <laughs> no, that's quite impressive. Now he plays rook f4. And this rook f4 already is a mistake. But I think this is quite scary already for white. Queen f1 was um, one of the best defenses here. And in fact, black needs to play queen e2. Because if he doesn't, this is another beautiful line. Let's see it. Rook e2. It reminded me of a study I saw a, a long time ago. Rook f4. Go back. And here, rook c6. And the idea is pretty pretty nice. Let's say that we just I just want to show the idea. So I'm going to play a5. A move that doesn't change the position. Queen b1 is the point. Mm. And it reminds me of this study. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's, uh, I think we have a queen or two queens and black is surrounded by rooks, but you just have to give, keep giving checks and the rooks will go clockwise. And then finally you checkmate the king. <laughs> Something like this happens here. We go yeah. queen, rook, queen d1. Yeah. And the point is that we just want to get e, e5 like that. Sorry? Or how is the clock? Like where the queen will go to, will then go to b3 and b5. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. I think so. So here, if they go here, queen b3 is checkmate. Yeah. And if we play rook, the other rook to d2, of course, we can probably just take the queen on h5, but <laughs> checkmate is more impressive. <laughs> yeah. Go here, check. It's very nice checkmate. We have to see it, I think. <laughs> Queen f3 again. And then, yeah. Only, no? Uh, yeah, oh. I was thinking king c4. Yeah, I think but... uh, this is... We get there, yeah. Queen c4, rook c6. And there's a checkmate on a3. <laughs> yeah. It's a very nice idea. Okay, it's just for fun because I, I imagine that this is close to impossible to find in a game. You would probably just take the queen, right? Just take the queen on h5, yes. After, like here, no? In this position, queen h5 is winning. You don't have to go for the checkmate, but now we can see it. Okay, so here queen e2 has to be played to avoid a checkmate. But also I have to say that all these ideas are not easy to see. I mean, you see rook e2, you might see rook f4, queen h5, but I think that the move that's really difficult here is rook c6, finding yeah. the idea of queen b1. I think that's true. And this is definitely very scary for both parts and why it <laughs> might still mean that like, oh, I need to defend sort of mode, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Because f2 seems to be in trouble. So if queen e2, then at least not trade queens. Okay, queen uh, rook f4 first. And threaten um, rook f3, no? In that position. Takes. Mm. Now we can take here. And this endgame is nothing easy for white. He has to go rook d1. And here rook c1. So not trade queens and take on d4, because that's probably losing. But keep the rooks and try to keep the king stuck on d3, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it holds, maybe it doesn't, because it's not so clear. But definitely out of the mating net <laughs> for now. Ooh. Let me show you how this ended. Rook f4. He goes check. Again, it's all very precise here. He always finds the best moves in these situations. King g2. And h5 is uh, a great move in this position. Okay, h6. I was just wondering if this was where he would play uh, king... Um, king e2? But it doesn't... Yeah. 
there's a check here that I think he was trying to avoid queen g4. Uh, yeah, ah, uh, that's the check because I was looking at h5 is defended. So that's why he's playing h5. H5, yes. Wow. Yeah. H5 is beautiful. And now king d2 is there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. King d2. Finally. And he can take an a6, but it's just uh, a revenge check, right? Yeah, d3. <laughs> He tries h4, it's the only way to still defend against the checkmate, I think. And now he plays rook e4. There are many lines winning already here. So queen f1 is winning. Oh, actually, queen f1 is really nice because now if you traveled uh, so far, you can just <laughs> <laughs> go all the way. King e1 and make space for rook e2. Yeah. Or d2. Both of them. But uh, rook e4 is winning also here, and now he takes on a4. Simpler. And then just the pawn, that's yeah, too bad. just simpler chess he goes for. So it doesn't really end in checkmate, but it is a king hunt by a king. So I really, <laughs> I really thought it's a beautiful game that it is worth showing. Oh, it's really is... great. I haven't, I, never, I haven't seen this one. You haven't seen this one. Okay, great. So that was a surprise for you at least. <laughs> yeah, it looks so Good. easy, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. Jadi asks, asks if um, if the player will calculate everything or just throw himself into the puddle. I think they calculate a lot. I mean, I don't know what the time situation was here, um, but I really think that he has... When he had the... When Jadi had the opportunity to take the perpetual, mm -hmm. I think... The fact that he didn't do that means that he calculated quite a lot because otherwise I think you would take, it looks scary for both parts. I think you would just take the, the, the draw, right? Um, yeah. I think he saw that there was something there. Yeah, I think he, he also has a good intuition for these things. You mean here, not where he goes king f5. I think there's also a lot of intuition and it's the kind of positions that he's comfortable in and he plays very well. Mm -hmm. Uh, he always manages to to get these double-edged positions. He has many good games where he he sacrifices material for the initiative, sacrifices exchanges for the initiative. So he's always looking for this activity. Yeah, and I guess the 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 intuition is also a great part of it. Because if we think about the other game with rook d5, I don't think it's possible to really calculate everything. You just see that taking the pieces probably doesn't really work. <laughs> so, and then you figure it out. If we think about the other game, no? the one that we just saw. And put more, more threats. It's a good balance. Yeah, it's a good balance. It looks so easy for him, but I'm sure that it takes a lot of practice for sure. And training. Okay, and that is all for today. Thank you, Sophie, for introducing me to this great player. Awesome. Thank you for showing me, especially this uh, last game. I think that's very enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, do you know who's the uh, next? Because uh, last time we just we didn't know it was going to be Johnny today, so maybe we're not sure who the next one is going to be. Then no, I haven't decided. But we were we were talking about my my mediaro, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So maybe that's, we'll yeah, see him next. That we had lunch together, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is my rating? My rating is 2256 right now, I think. Ooh. I haven't checked that in a while, but I think that that's right. And you have the um you have the title, but for some reason the Twitch will not want your title, right? <laughs> oh yes, yeah. Twitch doesn't like WIM. <laughs> Women International yeah. Master, and uh, yeah, it doesn't want to to keep it there, so I took it away. It's okay. <laughs> we have to make a WGM, so 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 Twitch likes it. <laughs> Sophie, was it your rating, Sophie? That was that. Oh, for, my rating. Uh, just about eighteen hundred uh, yeah. feeder. So I have a lot of learn, a lot to learn from Haluka and all these. Uh... But you are working very hard, which is uh, 
which is very nice to see. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely improved uh, a lot, I think. I, I can't tell it too much in my feed waiting because it's hard to play a tournament, but my yeah. online waiting has improved a lot since I started working with Raluca. So if anybody is considering getting a coach, I can only... <laughs> Thank you very much, Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, you uh, don't forget to check out coaches.com in case you are looking for uh, a call. We will see you guys next week, probably on Tuesday, which is our normal usual. day, usual day. That was not available this week. So thank you all very much. Hope you enjoyed this uh, stream that we had today, this great player. And see you soon.